packed my bags once again and drove three hours to this water body that I really love fishing at. It is still hard for me to believe I found this gem by just driving past and talking with the locals. It caught my interest as soon as I heard there were some nice tench and carp in this lake. Join me on today's adventure as I try to catch some tench and bream on a meadow feeder rig and a float rig. This time I have all sorts of baits you might want on a fishing trip and also one surprise bait. The first bait that I have is the trusty sweet corn which I like to pour into another container so it is easier to get the corn out. For the second bait I have some red worms I actually dug myself. Yes I was knees and hands deep in cow manure and I was digging for these. For the float rod I use my Shimano Katana rod and Daiwa Ninja LT 4000 C reel. It is a bit on the heavier side but I got it just in case we might hook into a carp. For the method feeder rig I use my feeder concept pilot 50 rod with a Salmo bait feeder 7 4000. On boat rig I use 5 kilo braids, so nothing too heavy duty, and also the hook length I use is around 2 kilos. First of all, we have the Census 3000 Tench mix, then to make it more sticky, I will add the Census 3000 Metafeta mix. To this combination, I will also add two magical elixirs, which are the Census Aromix Crow and Census Aromix Redworm. Today, I will also try some additives, which are small 6ml pellets and some neon red flakes. For the surprise bait, I have 2 fruity corn. No idea if we will catch anything, but I guess we will see. Anyways, let's add the elixirs and get our metafeta ready for fishing. It is such a lovely evening and we are fishing once again. As you saw from the intro, today I'm trying metafeta and float fishing so we can make sure which one is the best we'll see which one is the superior one so far i can say the score is 3-1 i've had three fish on the float and just one fish on the metafeta but on the same time the fish on the metafeta was like three times the size of the fish i've had on the float but let's continue i think i need to refresh the metafeta and also the float rod so after that we'll see maybe in the next clip you'll see a tench or a nice bream already i think i'll have a fish on in a second something actually is burning pretty aggressively no more it is super odd that there are bubbles already and it's like 7 p.m i think it is super early there's loads of bubbles hmm all righty Ah, oh, I missed a bite. It was a nice bite. My float just skyrocketed pretty much. Okay, I think I have a fish on. Let's see. Ah, oh, no. I lost it. Okay, I think I have a fish on. I'm not 100% sure. It looked like I had a fish on and then it let the bait go. So I think I should wait a little longer. There's so many bubbles. It's so weird. It's quite hard to see the bubbles because of the ripples on the water. I can clearly see there's a huge patch of bubbles. And here we go. Fish on. Not a big one, but still a fish. Another roach. So it's 4-1. I need to really refresh the meta feeder rod because this is not looking good. But still, the biggest fish belongs to the meta feeder. All right, this rod has been reset, so now we just wait. When I was reeling it out, I actually saw quite a lot of weeds on the meta feeder, so maybe I should switch the spots in the water because uh, if there's a lot of weeds, the meta feeder might get lost in there. And then the best option is actually to use just a regular feeder. So maybe, I'm not sure. I think I'll just go and look for a better spot for the meta feeder. Okay, I have a nice hit on the metafeeder. Let's see. There's absolutely nothing. No, nope. no, nope. there's absolutely nothing. <laughs> I thought I had something on. My line went slack and everything, but at the end, nothing. Okay, let's just get rebaited, I guess. Okay, my hook length is still there. I thought for a second it took my hook length. I almost actually forgot there was something very important I forgot to do in the last video, and it was to drink an energy drink. Oh, I actually have a fish on the float. Let me see. Let me see. I'm not sure if it's still on. Yeah, but it's still on, but it's tiny. I only touched a can of monster and I already have a fish on. It's a good luck omen. Every single time when I have it, I get something nice. So let's see. Maybe today is also the day. Okay, let's get to the business before we get interrupted again. The favorite drink. It's just so good. Oh yeah. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I haven't had one in like a week or so. Not that it's a long time, but it's a long time. Okay. I actually want to feed some pellets next to the float because uh, I saw a lot of bubbles there earlier that are gone now. So this means the fish came there, they did some feeding because I fed some corn earlier and they left. I have a fish on the float again. No way. Should I hook it? Nah. 
But yeah, I will throw down some pellets so they have some more stuff to feed on and maybe some tanks or bream will stay on the spot and I'll have a chance to catch them. So let's get some pellets now. I think you saw the pellets I showed earlier, so these are the ones I will use. These are like super tiny, only six mils. I'm just gonna do like small handfuls at a time. I think every like 20, 30 minutes or so. Maybe if there's more fish on the spot, I'll, I'll throw some more. Yeah, pretty good shot. A bit off, but <laughs> not too bad. Oh, I actually forgot I have a slingshot with me. I should have used the slingshot, but hey, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure we have something on the metafeeder. Let's see. It was a nice bite though, so hopefully it's a nice fish. Uh, oh yeah, it's definitely a fish. It's fighting pretty well, but I think it's a roach or something. And I think I've lost the fish. Yeah. Oh, actually, I still have it on. Oh, it's a bream. It's a bream, it's a bream, lads. Let me show you. Hello, bream. Yeah, let's get this guy off the hook and uh, throw the metal feeder back in. Guys, 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 first decent fish of the day is on. I was actually flying my drone and I have a tench on. Ah, oh, I can't see it. My net is far away. I'm not gonna bass land it. Look at that fish. What a nice tench. This is awesome. My drone is still up in the air. Somewhere up there, 60 meters up there. Yeah, first tench. Let's get this guy out and I'll show you the fish. By the way, today is my second time ever actually using a method feeder, so I'm quite surprised that the method feeder is absolutely crushing the float. But it could be the reason that over there is not very deep, it's quite shallow, maybe less than a meter I think. So I'm not sure if there will be any tench or bream. There's definitely a rod and roach. There should be tench because tench you can even catch them in like 30 centimeters of water. They sometimes come to like extremely shallow areas, need to keep baiting that area and then I will have some more luck. So yeah, I will have to do a lot of baiting over there. Metal feeder on the other hand, this is as I said crushing it. One tench, two bream, one big roach. With the float, just tiny roach and rod, but in numbers float has definitely caught more fish than the method feeder. With the float I have eight or nine rod and roach and with that I have four fish in total. So yeah, still fun. When something just took my float aggressively. I actually have my slingshot over here. I put some pellets in there. Not too many. Don't mind my Nikes, by the way. I forgot my boots. It was a rookie mistake, but it is what it is. So let's get some pellets into the water. Let's see how accurate will I be or will I actually fail miserably. So this is the moment of truth. I failed miserably. I actually did like a super accurate cast earlier with the slingshot, but uh, you know, it's a camera anxiety. Look at this roach. It is so tiny. I think this is the smallest fish I've had today, but hopefully this will turn around. We are still looking for the giant bream and tench. Actually last time when I was here, I think two days ago, I hooked into a carp once again, just like last year. And of course it broke off. So I switched two of my rods to boilies with the hair rig. Couldn't break me. And you know what I caught with the boilie? A roach. But I mean, it was a big roach. Not like this little guy, but still, what the heck? There's a little mouse. Hmm. I'm gonna get the metafeeder out. I think I might have something on. I saw some bites and after I get it out, I think I would rebait, but with uh, worms, not with corn anymore. Hopefully the fish will bite better with worms during the night time. And then in the morning, I will switch back to the corn. Red worms are definitely working. I've had some pretty intense bites. Let's see, I'm waiting for one more bite. And if it's a decent one, I'll actually try to hook the fish. I actually think something might be stuck on the hook already. It was super odd because previously as well, when I had the tension on, it did not move at all. It was just sitting on the same spot the time maybe for like 10 15 minutes i have no idea yep something's on seems like probably a roach not a big one but hey with the worm almost insta bite oh it's actually a bream i think oh yeah it's a bream this is like a super tiny bream i'll still show you i'll go get my net very quickly Worms are like a super bait today. I put some worms on and I had bite in like 10 seconds or so and something's biting once again. It's pretty much every time on this lake, if it gets dark, the bigger bream will come and start biting. Otherwise, they are kind of like hiding and not feeding at all. If there is anything on the hook. I don't know. Wait. What is that even? It's, oh, it just fell off. Right over here it fell off. It was a pretty decent fish, actually. I think it was a roach as well. I saw it for a millisecond. I think I might have a decent fish on. Let's see. Definitely something's on. Oh yeah, it's also fighting a bit. But I don't think it's that big. 
It, it took the bait very aggressively though. <laughs> oh whoa, it's giving some headshakes. Hopefully it's a roach, a big roach, not just a skimmer again. Another little bream. Seems like another semi-decent fish. Let's go. We take these. Let's see what it is. It's another skimmer. No, it's actually a roach. That's a decent one. Whoa, wow. That's a big roach. <laughs> That's a big in. Once it got dark, I landed my first decent bream, which was around 1.2 kilograms, and then I started to pull fish on the meadow feeder one after another. It took less than five minutes every time when I got my bait in to have a very nice bream on the hook once again. I changed my hook bait to two red worms and one piece of corn. Fish really seemed to like this combination. Very surprised about the results, and I will definitely try fishing on the meadow feeder again. I actually really enjoyed it. Very sorry that I don't have good footage while night fishing because it is so hard to film in the dark. I will try to find a solution for it, maybe a new light, but I guess we'll see in the future episodes if I can make them because it is already awesome and it's getting very cold here. I caught a few bream around 2 kilograms which fought like crazy. I was super stoked about hooking these fish. It gave me more motivation to stay up till early morning and that is something I really needed because I was getting very, very tired. Once the sun was finally slowly coming back up, I had something to my float and meta feeder at the same time i almost dropped my camera because of it i tried to grab both of my rods at once i don't know what the heck went through my head at that point okay guys a very decent fish is on i think it's a tench but i'm not 100 sure but we'll see in a second oh yes morning bite favorite i've actually caught quite a bit of fish in the night time which is absolutely amazing oh it's a bream it's a very nice bream once again let's go in the keep net, I have like two bream that are around two kilos. I have a massive rod, which is around a kilo, I think. So yeah, oh, let's get this bream out of the water and put him into the keep net so we can take a look once it's uh, lighter outside. Something decent on the float. What is this? Oh, it's a roach. <laughs> no, it's a perch. Wait. No, I've just caught this perch on a piece of tutti fruity corn and something is taking my meadow feeder. Tutti fruity corn for perch. Now you know, boys. And this is actually a decent perch as well. This is funny. I'm gonna actually throw this guy back. Okay, another nice fish on the float. Oh no. Did I hook it from the... No, no, it's hooked from the mouth. First of all, I thought it was hooked from the belly. But it's not that big. <laughs> it, it felt a lot heavier at the beginning because it got stuck to the bottom or to the reeds. But yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go quickly and let's rebait. This 2 3 3 corn is working wonders so far. I have another nice fish on. Don't know what it is. I think it's a bream. We'll see in a second. It was fighting fairly hard at the beginning, but now it kind of lost its will to fight. Actually, no, it's still going slightly. It's a pretty decent bream. Oh yeah, definitely decent bream. No, it's not a bream, it's a tench. No, it's a bream. Dude. I need to get some sleep. For the conclusion, I can say method feeder definitely beats a regular float. So yeah, method feeder, you were awesome today. All the big fish I caught on the method feeder. I caught the big rod on method feeder, two tench and so on. On the float, I caught some roach and two bream. One was over a kilo, but everything else was kind of whack. But I think I still need to give it another shot next time on a different spot. So it would be more equal. So this was my keep net after fishing here. I did not take all of the fish. I only took a few to show you guys. And these are the results. I have this rubber keep net, so this should be good for the fish. They won't get hurt and so on. So hopefully this is fine for you guys i'm still learning how do you keep the fish more healthy and keep them more happy when i have them in the keep net when i'm gonna land them and release them so thank you guys for all the feedback even if it's sometimes quite aggressive i really take it into consideration and i am still learning to be a better fisherman anyways enjoy these fish because i really enjoyed reeling them in and catching them so hopefully you like to see these guys on the screen because i caught them for you and for me, obviously, because yeah, I went fishing. I love fishing. This tench was absolutely amazing. I caught two tench during the day. 
actually one during the nighttime, one during the daytime. And this huge rod. Look at this big bar of gold. This rod is not my personal best, but it was probably pretty close to my personal best rod. I really, really like catching rod. They are such an awesome fish. Also, I caught a lot of bream. As I said earlier, a few that were all two kilos and some that were around a kilo, around 1.2 kilos and so on. But I kept a few in the keep net because I don't want to have all of them in the keep net cramped up. This was probably the biggest bream I kept from the keep net. As you can see, it is pretty awesome. It was around 2.2 kilos. After taking a closer look, I released all the fish and made sure they all swam away nice and healthy. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.